G'day. Today in the warehouse, we've got the Michelin Pilot Sport 4. So today in the warehouse, we've got the Michelin Pilot Sport 4, which actually replaces the Pilot Sport 3 and probably replaced it about a year or so ago now. So this tire is their road oriented tire from the, their more sportier range. So there's the Pilot Sport 4, which this one is. Then there's the Pilot Sport 4S, which is sort of the next level up. Then there's the PS Cup or Pilot Sport Cup. So basically this one is your more road oriented tourer, which you, know, maybe you can get high spirited with. And then the 4S is uh, going to be a little bit more aggressive again. And then the cup is more your track tire that you can drive to the track and drive home again, but you probably wouldn't want it to be driving on it day to day. So it's that fast road tire um, that's a comfortable tourer. But let's have a closer look at what actually makes this an interesting tire. So any tire in this category is going to have to fight that balance between being a comfortable and safe road tire with being a a fun and spirited, not quite track tire, but you know, something you can give it some welly on the road. So they have to balance this with the compound that they use, the siping that the tire has, and the stiffness of the carcass. So this tire is, it's supposed to be for performance driving. Um, so one of the first things that I noticed about it, this in comparison to with your regular um, track, oh sorry, regular passenger tires, is that the compound is really quite a, a sticky sort of compound. So I don't know if you can hear that but it's, it's so sticky. Um, and then also you see this big, deep sipes here that run through the whole tire, which are gonna be good for evacuating all of that water that you might come across on the, um, in the wet. And then also you see these three strong center ribs that go all the way around the tire, so there's no breaks in those. Um, so that's gonna really give you that uh, durability for when, when or you know, the, the strength for when you're putting the power to the ground. One thing you'll notice though that's a little bit different between this and perhaps a more sports oriented tire is that the shoulders are not as uh, solid as perhaps a more performance oriented tire because again that's trying to get that water out there so it's balancing off between evacuating the water and having the strength here to allow you to corner faster so this perhaps won't let you corner as fast as a more um, track oriented tire but it's going to be a heck of a lot safer in the wet for your regular, regular passenger cars. So Michelin says that this tyre offers excellent steering control and a high level of reactivity, which means it's going to be able to be a bit more fun for when you're, uh, you're trying to make your passengers stick in the twisties. And it, they reckon it also offers a high level of safety on the wet roads. Um, so that means that hopefully they've found that balance between it being a fun touring tyre and, and the wet weather performance as well. So one thing to note is this is an asymmetric tyre. So this is actually the inside of the tyre and this is the outside of the tyre. And you can see as we cross the tyre, the siping, the channeling gets deeper, or sorry, is deeper on the inside and shallower or narrower on the outside, which means that this shoulder, outside shoulder, is going to be stiffer for that cornering capacity. But you've still got the, the channels on the inside here to get rid of the majority of the water out the back. So the PS4 from Michelin covers quite a wide range of sizes. It goes from, say, your yeah, yeah, hatchbacky sort of size through to your full-size sedan sort of size. So that's 205, 50, 16, all the way through to 325, 30, 21. So that's quite a narrow profile tyre. Um, this particular set of tyres is actually going on our long-term test vehicle. It's a Ren Ren Renault Megane Cup. So Sporty Hatch, we'll be putting it on the track as well as seeing how it goes over the next 10,000 Ks just for day-to-day -day life. So tune back in in 10,000 Ks and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell button for notifications for whenever we post a video next. So thank you and see you next time.